I do. I do. Tea, Mammy. Oh, Cathy, you're an angel, love. Just leave it on the wall there. Trevor! I'm coming, Mammy! Trevor! Trevor Brown, you'll miss your bus! Do you think I do? Oh, no, Jay's father, I do. I do. Oh, Jesus, what am I doing? He's up there practicing. Practicing? Trevor, for his wedding, he's practicing. Dirty little bastard. He'll go blind. If me mommy could see me now Drinking my drink Smoking my cigarettes If ma could see me now What in the world would she say? Where is the boy? Day, Mommy. I know. Sorry, I forgot these sandwiches. I want Trevor to drop them down to the hospital for him. Why don't you get Dermot to drop his sandwiches down to him? He's doing nothing. Good idea. Dermot! Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I said that feckin' music. Are you Jarvis? I want you to take Simon's sandwiches down to the hospital for him. Yes, mommy. That's better. Cathy, give me up that basket there, will you? <laughs> Jesus, Mummy, you never lost I it. I hope not. Morning, Mrs. Brown. Uh, how are you, Sharon? Hi, Cathy. How are you? Here. How did last night go? Great. I was in bed by nine. What time did you get home? Uh? Three. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get the weather you're expecting. I always get everything I'm expecting, Mrs. Brown. Who's expecting? 
That she's expecting. You're expecting. I'm not expecting, Mummy. She is not expecting. I know she's not expecting. Well, don't you be spreading rumors, I, Agnes. I'm not. Oh, Winnie, just put the fetching kettle on, will you? I'm off, Mummy. And I have Simon sandwiches. Morning, Dermot. You all dressed up? Off to the office? Yeah. You look good enough to eat. Yeah. Cut out that talk, you. Winnie, speak to her. Sharon, what did I tell you about eating the neighbours, young fellas? Get it on. Come on, good boy. Get it on. Come on. Get it on. Now. Come on, good boy. Get it on. Come on. Oh, look, look, look. She wants it. Look, oh, look. She looks fabulous. Look at that. Aren't you looking fabulous? She looks fabulous. Come on. I want you to get it up now. Come on. I like this. Look. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, get it in, brother. Come on. Get it in. Get What do you want? Uh, 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 a parcel. Uh, 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 pronto print. Oh, right. That'll be for my wife. Which one of them is her? She's in the greenhouse. Hillary! Sinbad? Hillary! Sinbad, what do you want? The courier from Pronto Printers is here. Oh, that'll be the wedding invitations. How wonderful. Maria! The wedding invitations have arrived. Grace! Well, do come and see them, dear. I'm sure they're fine. Look, I can't stop. I have to meet Kathy Brown and the girls before work. Oh, shall I change and come with you? No, Mother. Oh, all right, dear. Sinbad, take the invitations from the curry and put them on the kitchen table. Well, actually, Hilary, I am very busy. Sinbad, just do it. And do stop messing with those dogs. I'm trying to get the bitch to mate. Wouldn't bother if I was you. Leave her in the greenhouse. Know what I mean? Well, Pegasus, I think it's time for a visit to the vet.
Oh, Mr. Brown, thank you for the flowers. Oh, we was delighted with them. Ah, good. And how is she? Oh, much better. Now, are you actively seeking work? Oh, yes. Actively. You two lads finished that off, will you? Ah, come in, Mark. How are you getting on the Kevin Barry job? Ah, great. I finished the templates yesterday. And if them French polishing lads get their finger now, we should have it finished by Friday. Brilliant. That'll impress Mr. Barry. There's a lot of work there if we can get it. Yeah? So, have you thought about it? The foreman's job. Cheers. All you have to do is say the word. Look, I've thought about it. And if you don't mind, I'd rather stay the way, you know. I like being on me tills. You're a good man, Mark. And I think you make a great foreman. All the lads look up to you. But if that's your decision, son, then that's fine. What did the wife think about the offer? Well, I haven't told her yet. She'll be grand about it. Only six weeks to go before Trevor's wedding. Oh, don't talk to me. So much to do and to be done, if I'm a let. What do you mean? Hardly. But he is mother. Yeah. Wants to do all the arrangements herself. Won't let me near them. Yeah. <laughs> Rich bitch. She probably thinks we're too common. Too common? Call that a second urgent show. Here we go again. It's just wait, wait, wait. Wait for your breakfast, wait for your dinner, wait for a bed, wait for an x-ray. Health service me bollocks. Yeah. Marie. There you are. Jeremy Brown, how are you? Grand. What are you doing here? Simon forgot his sandwiches, so Mummy made me bring them down. Here, girls, this is Jeremy Brown, my future brother-in-law, and very much available. Will you stop that? Hi. How are you? Well, hello. And, uh, where are you from? Galway. Right. <laughs> uh, so, have you seen some? Oh, yeah, I saw him go down to x-ray with a patient. And that is? Come on, I'll show you. Good. Just down the stairs. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Trevor say about all this? Nothing. 
couldn't give a shit. She wants to go to hotel, do the menu. She wants to hotel. She wants to even a feckin' honeymoon. You take my advice now. You get involved. Take no guff. He's your son too. It's your day too, love. He's right, Winnie. Mm. Do you know I think I feckin' will? How's that itch? Jesus, is that old cream you gave me? Feckin' useless. I've only ever used it on my feet. Mammy, was there a letter for me today? A letter, love, no. Why are you expecting a letter? Well, well I kind of applied for this thing. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Well, Trevor, only six weeks to go before the wedding. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Don't seem very excited, son. Most important day of your life. I am. He is. I am. He is. He's just nervous. That's all. That's normal, son. Well, Ma, I It'll be a fabulous day. Maria dressed in white. And you in a feckin' tuxedo. <laughs> be just like her father. The day we buried him, not dressed him. It wouldn't have happened in Devalier's day. He was on top of it. As unions. Jesus, don't get me started about fucking unions, please. Ah, there you are. How are you? How are you? There, Mo. Hang on till I switch this on. What are you doing here? You forgot your sandwiches. So Mammy asked me to bring them down to you. Sandwiches? Well, maybe it's a roll. I said, just barge right in here. Me sitting here with me arse hanging out of a smock. And you come in, come on in, have a look. What's up with him? Uh, uh, don't mind him there. Thanks, million for... No, don't mind me. I only pay taxes and I pay his wages. What's he on about? Uh, don't mind them there, man. Listen... Will you watch him while I just put this in my locker? Yeah. <sighs> This'll be your first white wedding, won't it, Agnes? Maybe. Well, Cathy's wedding was in a registry office in London. That didn't last very long either. You keep your feckin' voice down. And your marks, Betty. Well, she was... I know what I mean. She was pregnant? Oh, I don't mean to pry into family business. How are you? Hello. How love. are you? Listen, you don't have to worry about us, Winnie. We have no skeletons in the closet. Do we, Rory? Classes? Uh, no, Mammy. I have to go. I've a full head of extensions coming in later. I'll see you. I just meant that Trevor here is going to make you very proud walking down the aisle. You will indeed. Yeah. And it'll be a real reception this time, won't it? Not like Mark's. What are you talking about? Mark Brown's wedding was a fabulous night. Wasn't it, Trevor? Yeah. 
I know it was, Aggie. It was lovely. But it's not the same thing, Agnes. No, not with the bride not there. Well, you can't take any chances with Toxemia. Yeah. Doesn't matter now. They've a lovely house and a beautiful child in Bono. That they have. Billy to Jay. Just pass me from Billy to Jay. Father, that's all those patients are. The only interest is in money. Jesus, what are you doing? Are you going to shut up? Yeah. I don't think you're allowed to smoke in here. Do you want to lie? Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Mavis and Jacko. Oh. You better invite them. Well, if they're coming, you better not ask Sheila Flanagan. They haven't spoke since Jacko ran over our greyhound. Is right, Winnie. That's all right with you, Trevor, isn't it? Yeah. Trevor, I'm not really happy with this menu that Hidley picked. I mean, what's horses do for and consume, eh? Is that a meat soup or a veg soup? Yeah. You're not even second. Listen to me, are you? Meat soup, veg soup, for Christ's sakes, ma. As we speak, people are dying of starvation in Rwanda. Fine. Give me their names, I'll put them on the list. Ah, oh, Jesus, I'm off. What does be wrong with that child? Jesus, I worry about him, Winnie. Don't blame you. I only hope he's as happily married as Mark. complaining. We want a bigger house. You want a new car. We have to have a holiday. They're not complaints. They're dreams for Christ's sake. Good night, man. Dreams me arse. You're never happy. You married a carpenter, and that's the... I married a man. Or so I thought. Not a... Not a what? Go on, say it, why don't you? You know what your problem is? You don't know how good you have it. But my man had to go out and... Oh, here we go again. My mammy the fucking martyr. Well, go back to her, why don't you? I just might. Do! Go on. Run home to your mammy so she can mollycoddle you. I will. And you watch what you say. My mother's a lady. Oh, Jesus, that's beautiful. Hello? Oh, hiya, Bessie. Who's that, Catty? Ah, oh, hang on a sec. It's Betty. Is it? Ask her how Bono is. That child should never have been expelled from the school. All children, Rob. Sorry, Betty, go on. What? 
Jesus Christ. Betty's after throwing Mark out. What are you saying? Betty and Mark had a fight and she threw him out. She's very upset, Mummy. Oh, Jesus, poor Mark. Put the kettle on. Jesus. This is terrible. Right. I'll get me jacket. Where are you going? I'm going over to Betty. She can't be on her own at a time like this. It's probably her own fault. Mammy! Go on then, go. What's up? Mammy will tell you. What's up? Mark and Bessie, they're said to have been killings. She threw them out. Rory, don't be so dramatic. What are you doing back? I thought you were going over to Betty's. I forgot. I have to meet Maria and walk her home after work. Here, Dermot, you meet Maria, walk her home after work. Tell her what happened. Well, why doesn't Dermot just go to Betty's? Because Trevor's a sensitive one. He'll be better. Did you take your tablet? Yes, Mummy. Well, will you just go on? Go. Will I go and look for Mark, Mummy? What? Maybe he's standing on the edge of a cliff. Or he could be trying to hang himself. Jesus Christ. Rory, will you stop? Anyway, you won't have to look. He's coming here. Here? How do you know, Cathy? Because Betty said so. Thank Jesus for small mercies. My door is always open. Yeah, that's the problem. I beg your pardon, Missy. Mammy, he's a married man. He shouldn't be coming here. Should he not? That's funny now. You're married and you're fucking here. Ah, uh, Nurse Nicholson. Dr. Gibney. Can I give you a lift anywhere? No, thank you. I'm actually waiting for someone. Okay, good night then. Good night. Well, he's not coming. Jeremy Brown, where's Trevor? He's on a mission in Mercy, his speciality. I'm here to walk a pretty girl home. My speciality. <laughs> Betty and Mark had a room. What? She threw him out. So Trevor's gone over there to make sure that Betty's all right. Maybe I should go over to Betty's. Nah, Mummy's right. Best leave it for Trevor. I'll tell you what, though. I'll walk you back to our place. When Trevor comes back, he can walk you home. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. <laughs> Sugars, isn't it? Ah, cheers, Betty. How are you feeling? A bit better, Trevor. Thanks for coming over. No problem. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Won't be long before you're looking at your own wedding photographs, Trevor. Yeah. Six weeks to go. Hey! Don't let me and Mark fight and put you off. The good times far outweigh the bad. I'm sure they do. 
It's just, I'm not sure I'm ready to see my life spread across a mantelpiece. So much to do. What? Nothing. Nothing, Betty. Listen, Betty. I'm sure all this is going to work itself out. If Mark turned down that promotion, he's going to have a good reason for doing it. It's not about him taking the promotion or not taking it, Trevor. I didn't even know he was offered it. That's the point. We're a married couple. We're supposed to tell each other everything. He didn't even tell me. Yeah, well, it sounds like you need to sit down and talk this through. In the meantime, I'm going to go home. My man's very upset. <laughs> yeah, right. This'll be up her alley. Now look, when Mark Brown gets here, we all pretend we know nothing. What do we know? Nothing. 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 That's him now. I'll get it. Everybody hide. No, no. Everybody act normal. Oh, what a surprise, Mammy. It's Mark. Is it? Oh, no, there's a surprise. Hello, love. How are you, Ma? How are you, Rory? He has the runs. Right. Would you like a cup of tea, love? I love one, Ma, yeah. Yeah, sit down and I'll get you one. Thanks, Ma. Rory! Rory! Ooh, Rory! 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 Oh, germs. You had to be the biggest heartbreaker in the whole school. All the girls were mad about you. Well, just stop that. I was the worst looking Egypt. But you made us laugh. That's what did it. <laughs> we all fancied you. Only six weeks to go before the wedding, what? Yeah. And you must be excited. Oh, yeah. So, you still breaking into houses? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to tell the law. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I can sleep easy tonight. <laughs>
Hello, Bessie. Come in. It's my husband here. Betty, I wish you'd use his name. Mark. M-I-R-K. Mark. You know, I didn't go through a hundred hours of labour and then forget to name him. Typical you. Exaggeration. No one's in labour for a hundred hours. Not even Agnes Brown. I'll have you know I was so long in labour on that child. <laughs> they had to shave me twice. Well, he's my husband now. So is he here or not? He was my son for a long time before he was your husband. And no, he's not here. But he'll be home shortly for a decent bit of dinner. Well, you can cook him as many dinners as he wants. But you tell him if he wants a wife, he'd better call me. A wife? Don't make me fucking laugh. It's a wife my son needs. Not a sample. Wait a minute! I fucking live here! Here, see that? Fucking folly it. When are you going to realise that your sons are grown men and stop treating them like little children? When they can find themselves a woman that's good enough to replace me. Ah, you're only an old battle axe. Smelly knickers. Wagon. Funny funny. Buggy ass! Buggy ass! Jesus! And we all know your hair is fucking dyed. What are you looking at?
Ah, Trevor, my boy. Are you all right there? Yes, thank you. Father, who looks after everything? Well, usually it's the clerk. But he's away today, so I suppose... I suppose it's me. No, Father. The world. Who looks after the world? So much pain and starving children and war and hatred. It's a big world out there, Trevor. And we must try to look after it ourselves. But also we must have faith in God. And we must believe that at the very end, his divine love will let us all see the goodness in everyone. Does that line actually work on people, Father? <sighs> Most of them. Believe it or not. So, uh, you're troubled about all the goings on in the world, are you? Yes, Father. I am. Me too. I applied to go to Rwanda as a volunteer missionary. Trevor, are you not getting married here in this very church in a couple of weeks? Yeah. Weird, though. How are you? Barbara, get a move on with that brush. She's as lazy, that one. I'll go easy on her, will you? I think her and him are at the break, you know. Did he? Barbara, fill the bridge and get over it. Now move us. So, did you tell her? Your mother, did you tell her? You know, Thatcher. G A Y E. No. Ah, why not? It's not the right time. Ah, Rory, there's no right time. Maybe so, but there's a wrong time. And it's now. She's got the wedding coming on top of her. Betty's at her throne mark out. What do you want me to say? Mammy, I know your world has fallen apart. But I'm gay. No, I suppose not. I'm sorry. I know, Tina, I'm sorry. 
I know you were looking forward to getting that apartment. And I am too. But... Ah, oh, stop it now. You'll have me in tears too. I go into the staff room. Come in for a coffee when they're finished there. Thanks. Ow! Sorry, love. Is that too hot for you? Kathy and Maria tonight for a drink. Have you time? I always have time for family. Here you, pick a sink. Eh, uh, Rory. I have a bit of a favour to ask you and Dean as well. Go on, what? Jesus, I feel so much better, Rory. You look massive. Are you sure it's no problem minding Bono? No! Look, there's the key to the front door. Just make yourselves at home. There's loads of stuff in the fridge for a sandwich. Now, aren't you a big boy? You are, brah. But are you sure you don't mind? Not at all. So would you look at Dino? He's in his element. Well, you can't stay here. And who made you head of the house? You did. The day you left. You can't just come wandering back here when it suits you and take over. Things change. You haven't. You can have my bed, Mark. I'll sleep on the couch. I, I don't mind. Thanks, Lemo. But then, much really. I have to get out of here. Why don't you just go home, Mark, and talk to Betty? I rang her this morning. She hung up. All right. Sorry. Exactly, Mr. Nicholson. But it does have a similar effect on a dog. <laughs> but uh, we've a bit to go before we get there. Shot first. Little prick, eh? Little prick. And if that doesn't work in 24 hours, we'll resort to the pills.
Right, little doggy. Mammy, I'm not like other boys. I have a secret I've been keeping from you. No, you think I'm a secret agent or something? Mammy, I'm gay. That's it, straight to the point. Mammy, I'm gay. Who's he fucking talking to in there? I don't know. Mammy, I'm gay. 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 Are you all right, love? Mammy, I'm gay. I'm happy too. He's full of beans in there. Mr. Foley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sheriff McCugan, you are a trap. Why, thank you. Shut up! Shut up! Go on, Maria, finish the story. Your dad's dogs aren't right. So go on. So, the vet says that if the injection doesn't work, he's going to give the dog Viagra. What's that? <laughs> the tablet. It puts a rocket in his pocket. <laughs> I had this fella once, right? Once? <laughs> no, really. We were getting ready, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you dug out this jar of cream. Stallion, it was called. And he rubs it all over his yoke. <laughs> Jesus! Did it work? <laughs> well, it half worked. <laughs> what do you mean, half? Well, I didn't get his yoke up. He couldn't bend his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, I think your dad should leave the dog alone. <laughs> and give it to your man. I have a great idea for a laugh. Sinbad! Will you shut up for fake sake? It's ringing. <laughs> Is that a taxi? <laughs> Yes, dear. The phone's ringing. Oh, where is it? I do. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, uh, the Nicholson residence. Hello, Mr. Nicholson. This is Mary from... Emerson... Dr. Emerson's office, the vet. It's about your dog, Pegasus, Pegasus. Oh, hello, Mary. Mary who? From the vet's office. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mary. Dr. Emerson feels that the injection mightn't work. Well, frankly, Mary, There doesn't seem to be any reaction whatsoever. He thought that might be the case. He wants to move straight on to the pills. Ah, oh, jolly good idea. Save time, huh? <laughs> exactly. Now, in order to assess the correct dose for the dog we need to get a sample um. uh, are you there mr nicholson uh, uh, um, yes mary i'm 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 still here uh, a sample of the dog's semen <laughs> oh I see. Now, to get the sample, just masturbate the dog into any clean vessel. <coughs> I thought you might say that. Just drop us into the office tomorrow morning at your earliest convenience. Uh, uh, goodbye, Mary, and, 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 and thank you. I think. Goodbye, Mr. Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> Is he <it> coming? <laughs> A 
currently the vet's office wants me to masturbate the dog. Yeah. How nice for you, dear. <gasps> My God, what do we have to do? <gasps> it's only a joke. <laughs> You don't think he's really going to wank the dog, do you? No, he won't. I'll tell him when I get home it was only a joke. God, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here's a taxi. Listen, I'll see you. See you. See ya. Oh, right, Pegasus. Good doggy. This won't hurt a bit. Hi. Where to, love? Temple Logue. And go as fast as you can. We limit 40 mile an hour. That's the best I can do. You don't understand. I'm getting married. <laughs> Jesus, fools be the head then. But if that doesn't work in 24 hours, we'll have to be out. Sorry. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you talking about? Mark Brown's wedding was a fabulous night, wasn't it? I'm clever as you, yeah. Right, Pegasus. Nice doggy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do it again. He's a funny look at him. Get in and bite him. A very kind of stark look. <laughs> <laughs> 